Hello, everyone. I'm Dan. And I'm Austin. We are here to play games. Horrendously. <laughs> but joyfully. Yeah. And hopefully with a couple of laughs in between. And lots of falling off of things. Wait, <clears> just <throat> kidding. Knocking on wood. Uh, well, it depends on which game we're playing. Yeah. Assault and Sanctuary, definitely. I've, I've, definitely a lot of falling to our deaths. I've done some, my, my share of falling off in this game, but yeah. That's true. The cathedral especially was rife with tiny platforms for you to walk across with big enemies that could look at you funny and knock you down to your death. Correct. Speaking of, <laughs> welcome back to Lies of P, uh, where we not only fall off of everything, or I not only fall off of everything, but we are fighting at this point to just get more answers, I think. Uh, you know, the petrification yeah. disease, we've defeated the Puppet King, and so now we are continuing. Yeah, we've had some big lore drops in the last episode. We have. Uh, le learning that Sophia is, or is it Sophie? Uh, Sophia. Her name is Sophia. Um, Whatever choice you Sophia. Yep. Yeah. Said it with all my chest, uh, hoping I was right. <laughs> um, but we learned that she's what what they're called a listener, and we've also learned that listeners were either turned into trees or the alchemists use listeners to create the gold fruit trees. Right. So. Either this is a listener, or a listener contributed to this process, thus draining them of their ability to be listeners themselves, is the implication. Like, it does something terrible to the listener either way. Mm-hmm. No doubt about that. Stalker. Let's see. We learned that Ergo is the purified essence of humanity, mm -hmm. created through the petrification disease. Which is a little confusing, at least the way it was represented to me. Stalker. Because up until this last episode, my understanding was Ergo was something that they had been using for a while. Right? Could be both. Especially. But yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. So, like, but the, but the implication, at least, that I got was Ergo and puppets and all of that happened first and then stalker sometime later and an undisclosed amount of time later mm -hmm. we have the petrification disease spreading like a plague yeah so if ergo is from the, as, a, as a side result of the petrification disease how did like how did we get there because like one begets the other in some way mm -hmm. no and I just don't I can't imagine that they started making puppets when they were dealing with the pandemic I have to imagine that the technological advances with ergo came before the pandemic of the petrification disease with just the way people tend to operate societally speaking yeah I would agree with that it's it's not 100% clear, but it is interesting. It's very muddled, I think. Right. What is clear from our conversation with Simus, Simon Manus? Manus? Yeah. Um, is that his meddling made it a problem. Mm. <laughs> so, like... Again, maybe there was some form of petrification disease that's always existed, and it just wasn't on the level of plague. Right. It was just periodic or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then he meddled and made it worse. Or maybe ergo is something that comes from beyond just petrification disease. And he was saying that it's the it's the most pure ergo you can get is from the petrification disease itself. To go even so further ergo, beyond? Yeah, so like, what if Ergo is just human essence, full stop, mm -hmm. and then he did something to create the petrification disease to try to refine that or to do other things, creating like a whole world of just so much worse happening. I Like, I don't know. But clearly, he's, his hands are really deep into the whole mix, so I'm hoping we'll get some more... Uh, illumination on what is happening and, and how it all ties together. I agree. Let's 
starting off strong. Crunch. That guy was, yeah, uh, no joke. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, buzz all him to the ground. Yup. Whoops. What do we got here? Recharged. Recharged amulet. Okay, Amulets. now I know where we are. We talked to Alador. Yeah, we already talked to Alador. We did. Oh, that's re yes. regen. Okay, all right. That's right, because we were supposed to climb to the top and get the recharged amulet and then go talk to Alador. Oh, okay. <laughs> Right. Well, we just did things in a slightly out of order way. It's fine. Yep. All right. So there's nothing else up here. So I guess I gotta right. go back down. Yeah, and we'll continue past Aladoro until we reach a large area. Oh, okay. All right. Back down to where Aladoro is, and then. Go oh, um, there should be like a lever to open a shortcut. Did we already do that? Yeah. Okay. That's where I came okay. from when I teleported in here. Is oh yeah, you're right. Back up you're... through the shortcut. That's right. Okay. Trying to get my bearings again. I got distracted by the um, battle info dump. Yeah, <laughs> of my brain. Yeah, uh, we are in the barren swamp. Uh, by the way, I'm sure you guys saw that. We saw us. You you saw us teleport there. But uh, yeah, that's where we are at the moment. Um, not so barren. There's a bunch of junk here, but you know, right. Depends on what you mean, I guess. Yep. Also, if this is your first time with us, welcome. If you want to see this full playlist from episode one onward, uh, I'll put a link to uh, the playlist here. You just check the top right corner of the video around this point. And you'll you'll see the link there. Mm. If you want to start episode one, otherwise, uh, welcome to the journey. As you see, we have a lot of fun by stepping into traps and <laughs> <laughs> other things. Listen here. Yeah, it's true, though. Yep. When there is lore to explore, we do try to explore it as best we can. So, uh, if you're here, if you like lore discussions, you know we might be the people for you. Yeah. And if you like watching people fail miserably, we're definitely the people for you. Yep, we're good at that. Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, this this has been a really good playthrough so far. I'm very much enjoying this game. It has not, you know, I know. Um, I use Dark Souls 1 as an example a lot, where the first half of the game is very strong, and then the second half isn't as much. I love Dark Souls 1, but yeah, it definitely changes after the first half. Um, in a mixed way, but this has felt very even to me, is, is the point I'm making here. Yeah. It's definitely been... I think as far as like the realm of souls like souls just games go, Liza P has been probably the first major entry into the world of 3D souls like I should clarify because there's a lot of really good entries into the souls like like category. Um but I think Liza P is probably one of the best non from software entries into the into the genre that guy's gotta go yeah he does I, he's causing problems oh oh okay oh, 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 oh time to move oh. <laughs> no <laughs> thank you <laughs> ow all right this isn't good i am I am getting. I wonder if you can like dart across. Very highly damaged by this scenario. No, get away, get away. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking that maybe the best way to do this. Ow. Yeah, I would say Ow. just ignore loot and stuff for now. Push to the top of the tower, take care of the sniper. Yeah, I agree. Then come back and explore. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through, pardon me. He's using like a steam engine ballista? Like, what is happening here? He's using a pain in my ass, is what he's using. <laughs> you gotta deal with this. Oh man, there's, oh, there's, there's explosive barrels in here. Oh man. No, oh, no, get away. It's time to go. Oh! <laughs> you can't heal on ladders, by the way. What kind of contraption? Stop it! 
Cool. Can I kill this thing? Oh, that's not what I'm you could target it, so in theory. <sighs> Perfect. Broke it. Yeah, it'll be back, I'm sure. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I am victorious. Ooh. What do we have here? Live puppets. Oh, that sounds disturbing. Sure does. Oh! Oh my Ooh. god. It's made of puppets. That's. That is a beefy lad right there. <laughs> yeah. Good grief. An absolute unit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh. Alright. Well, that's that's pretty cool. That's a cool weapon. It is. It's definitely not my style, but it's pretty cool. No. No. There's another guy in here, too, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Did he explode? Oh, no, it's a barrel. I th so there was a big guy that we ran past her hmm. earlier. Hmm. <laughs> the barrel is there. Hi, my name. And I need to be on fire. What to do? My name's Dan. I trigger exploding barrels for no reason. <laughs> oh, man. Some, some of our best Souls playthrough memories have been you blowing up a fire barrel. That was uh, Dark Souls 2. Um, I just smacked a fire barrel at the beginning, yeah. and we both died. <laughs> oh, well, no. so, specifically in Dark Souls 2, you can get that flame, uh, what is it, straight sword or whatever? Fire long sword. Yeah. <clears throat> Pretty early in the game. Yeah. So, of course, it's one of the best weapons you can get at that time. Mm -hmm. It's also a trap to use it at that time because of the amount of just... Explosive barrels everywhere. Hey, walk into a room, exploding barrels, and why are you giving me? Okay, exploding barrels are everywhere, and I'm like, haha, this sounds fun. Smack a barrel, explode. Oh wait, I need to go past Eldora. Yeah. But yeah, it's uh, I have a history of that. So there you go. You you have now experienced that, viewers. Hope you're enjoying. My I don't suffering. think that's. <laughs> you know, I think the irony of that is I don't think it's the first time you've blown up yourself in this playthrough alone. Oh, it absolutely isn't. Pretty sure you hit yourself with shock barrels too. Ooh, that works. I'll take it. <laughs> Worked out. Let's see if Ballista Man is back. Yeah. So what I really need to do is make my way up there. Man, these, these particular dog creatures are different. Like, interesting. Yeah, they're definitely weird. Hmm. Grief. Alright. <laughs> it's a good thing we updated our capsule ca uh, capacity. Yeah, having additional heals is pretty nice here. Can you feel All it right. now, Mr. Krabs? I don't see it up this, there. Yeah, it looks like it's still broken. All right, well, that's handy. Fantastic. All right, I do not like Watch out for the traps. Yeah. There we go. He oh, his head was turned around. has a backwards head. Weird. <laughs> so can I break this box? Nope. Nope. That sucks, because that means there's probably something in that one, too. Oh, well. Hmm. Yeah. Half Moonstone. I don't like that. Ooh. It doesn't like you either. It's running in slow motion. Oh, weird. Nice. 
definitely uh, I think the yeah, I think if we follow the stream that takes us to the next stargazer. Okay. So grab what you need and we'll move on. Yeah. Sharp pipe. It's so sharp. Ah. Super sharp. No. Yeah. There we go. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Catalyst. Give me back my ergo. Yeah. Right. Oop, that's the guy. Ugh. Noxious. Oh. Oh. Very angry. Yes. Angie. Ooh. That was a lot of damage. It was. Oh. There we go. Yeah. These guys hit really hard. They do. Ugh. Good grief. Ooh, you can break his weapon. Ooh. There it is. Taking you downtown. What the? Th oh, what? That was stupid. Well, you got him anyway. All right. <laughs> At least you got him. I'm all zappy. Ooh. A little rough. Okay, so. Yeah. Time to move on to the next Star Destroyer. Yeah. Ooh. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a tarp. It's a tarp. But what kind of tarp? Vinyl, cloth, linen? What are you thinking? Who's to really say? <laughs> Who knows? Who even knows? Oh, another one? All right, buddy. <laughs> Take that. Eh. <laughs> Take that with you, the whole 89. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good. Freaking. Yeah. 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 Well, let me do it this time. There we go. So, that is much better. Peace said, I'm the Reaper. Fear me. I said, I'm the liar. Fear me. <laughs> Come fear the Reaper. I fear no Reaper. <laughs> I use them. I, great effect. I am the Reaper. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh. Ooh, what do we got? Item. Ooh, I like that. We got something here. What is that? So they do exist. Are the puppets like me not bound by the Grand Covenant? What? Oh. I thought I was forever alone. Without the Covenant, my kind hates me. Monstrous humans, puppets. They all hate me. But I want to be friends with humans. If I learn how to feel, would that be possible? If you tell me how, I'll return the favor. I want to learn how to feel. Mm. Hello, my only friend. What have you come to tell me? My only friend. That's so sad. Teach about sadness. Teach about sadness. Teach how to clap. So should I teach mm -hmm. him about sadness? Yeah, you'll get a chance to teach them both, I'm pretty sure, so... Teach about sadness. sadness. I see now how scary losing someone can be. I may not be able to cry, but I hope I can comfort others now. Thank you. Okay. Hello, my only friend, Ref. What have you come to tell me? Clap. Clapping is... Uh, the mimicry of a joyful heart. 
It's good to feel alive. <laughs> Thanks. Hello, there you go. Friend, what did you come to tell me? I'll be back. All right. I'll be back. I'm assuming there's a little bit more we can do with him at some point. Uh, possibly. We gotta actually let's. We got two heals. Let's go ahead and restore that. Before we That's a good idea. All right. So once again, we're gonna want to ignore the loot for now and take a path on the left going up the hill. Okay. Continuing along the scaffolding. Interesting. There's some nonsense going on here. Uh-huh. Ooh. Oh, come back. There we go. Stabilized alchemical booster. Interesting. Yep. Going up the sky. Uh -oh. Yeah. So it says, is look for a path on the left going up the hill. That will take you along some scaffolding as well. Ooh. Speeds up. We have two of these. Huh. I wonder if we can give them to... What's his name? Maybe. I don't know how those work. Oh! Is it this, maybe? I guess, yeah. I'm feeling the need to be out of the line of fire there. Right. Okay. There's something here. Hmm. Ooh, a ladder. Experiment report. Yeah, let's see here. Test subject 890. Status report, the most successful case from the prototype elixir injection experiments. Three patients suffering from the petrification disease who got the elixir injection at the same time died. Right up until their deaths, they experienced painful necrosis and skin ruptures, seizures, and convulsions, and crystalline metastasis throughout the body. Ugh. Ultimately, they became mutations known as carcasses. Number 890 was able to suppress neutralization side effects and has been stable for 56 hours so far. Just the disassociative amnesia, seizures, aggressive urges, and hallucinations found in typical petrification disease victims. Huh. Personal opinion. I confirm that the order's proposal to take a stalker with verified physical abilities as a sample is very effective. The sample extracted from subject number 890 is estimated to help the elixir development in the next step. Sister Adriana, who will receive the next baptism, is expected to be able to fulfill the order's wishes. Wake up, evolve, ascend. We, the Reborners, will prepare the, for the birth of God. Fascinating. Uh huh. Interesting. Ladder. Okay. Oh, hey, a person. Yeah. Are they my friend or not? That's a good question. Hi, friendo. Ah. This must be quite an urgent patient to seek out my humble abode. You are still breathing. I must treat you quickly. Uh oh. Grant cannot have any more live patients. Oh. Trust me, it's better this way. Tis far nobler to die as a human. Uh. And if you're okay. not alive, then you must be dead. That's just logic. <laughs> Huh. All right. Ooh. execution. Well. Thank yeah, you. that was great. Uh. 
Man, the, the, the twin wielding he's using is really interesting. Yeah, it is. Now that's a knife. And if we can get it to break his weapon, that's going to be so good. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, oh, yes, it shattered. Yes. Still deadly, but not nearly as much. Oh, His ability to close is so frustrating. Yeah. Good grief. He's twice as agile as I am, at least. Yeah, that's a good thing he broke his weapon. He's not doing nearly as much damage as he was a minute ago. Yeah, this is definitely... It's still a lot, but... Adelina. Hmm. Oh, you got his mask. Nice. Yeah, let's check it out. Uh. Don't you want to be an owl for Christmas? I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll be home for Christmas. Oh, no. <laughs> Viewers. Viewers. Can you believe he said that? <laughs> It's outrageous. <laughs> it's involuntary. Oh god. Yeah. Sorry, not sorry. I am not number. I am not number eight nine zero. Name precious forgotten. Interesting. Name precious forgotten. Oh, was the owl doctor patient eight nine zero? It appears so. Interesting. Uh huh. All right. So okay. Um, so that, that was a step ahead of where we we're supposed to be at. Um, okay, then. That's fine, though. That means you have to deal with him later. Yeah, I think out that way. To your, No? Okay. To the scaffolding? Yeah, I guess we gotta keep going. Oh. Oh, maybe that's the hill there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we just gotta take care of the thing shooting at you. Then we can come back in here and look, loot, loot the bodies. Yeah. You'll also uh, probably come across a tunnel. We're not going to investigate that just yet because we have stuff to explore. Okay. Before we get there. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. They have taken over the post. Beware the rocks when entering the ravine. <laughs> Blasting zone ahead. So is this what I need to be dealing with right here? This looks like yeah, we're gonna we're, yeah continue along the scaffolding until we get to the next stargazer. So just kind of keep following the path. Okay. Carcasses. Zambies. Zambies. Mm -hmm. Zambies, you say? Okay. Zambies. It's so scary. Mm-hmm. What is... That's, that's a shortcut. Yeah. When you find the Stargazer. Yeah, I can't. Okay. Who's angry? My mom! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Man, mm. he's touching me. Alright, so... Ugh. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is that oh. that's scary looking. I know, you looking down made my toes tingle a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I'm nervous for you. I did it. <laughs> Good job. I was like, I just gotta go. Like there's no there's nothing for it. Ow. I took a damage. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some nonsense going on over there. All right, this would be up here is the normal way, I think, without doing that drop down. So close the loop a little bit. Deal with this idiot. And the one showing up too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then that. I think this goes up to where I did the drop down. Is there anything up here? Yeah. Uh, nope. Fascinating. Okay. So, like, yeah, okay. 
Yeah, I got it. Back down. That was the most docile carcass character you've come across. Yeah. He just kind of looked at you like, eh. I'm like, hello, friend. Yeah, I'm here to kill you. Eh, alright. <laughs> Good. Do it. Being a carcass sucks. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Save me! Alright. Wah! Wah! Grumpy. Nope. Yeah. Nice. 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 Nice job, bud. Nice job. Nessie. Oh, ladder. Okay. Hold on. I really want to deal with. Mm. <laughs> no. That's a bad. Holy oh. crap! That was. That's just a bad time waiting to happen. Yeah. Can I get it with the last one? I sure can! <laughs> well, you got one of them. Yeah, I got one. It's fine. I don't oh. like how close I am to the edge! <laughs> I know, it's making me nervous. <laughs> huh. Boy, nothing broke his poise. That was kind of wild. Yeah. That was... obnoxious. <laughs> that... He's cheating. <laughs> Weapon? Legion caliber. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Tight, 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 tight. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Okay, so... That's a dead end. I guess we gotta go up the ladder. Is there anything over here? Yeah. I think that's, this is the tunnel. That's the tunnel you're talking about. All right. Yeah, so let's go up, up, grab the ladder, grab the stargazer. Where are we taking the ladder? Grab the ladder and walk off with it. No, it's not what yep. I meant. Hey, guy. I mean, if it's a good enough ladder, you gotta take it with you. Yeah. That's okay. All right, hang on a second. I think this is yes. Yeah, let's do so, yeah. We'll do this first. Yeah, that was my suggestion. Is grab that first. Yeah. Then yeah, open the door. Grab your couple of items from the drop downs. Yeah. I would think. And then maybe rest at the stargazer and move on through the tunnel at that point. Yeah. That. Okay. I'm gonna do this one first. Do 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 do. Oh. Oh no! Oh. oh no! I'm so glad we grabbed that star case. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, we're just right here, so that's all right. Yep. It was unfortunate, but it's all right. <laughs> Out of my way! Look, easy peasy. Yeah. That's so far my favorite part of the game. <laughs> Just slid off the side. <sighs> well, well, yeah, your big toe wasn't touching the beam, so clearly that means that it's actually made of oil. How and you can't stand on how it. How dare I? <laughs> Why would you have the audacity to do anything otherwise? Alright. Okay. Tippitos, mm. tippitos. Mm. Now, I'm thinking that one. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That right there is mean. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's mean. <laughs> oh. Okay. Go around here. Ah. Ah. Cool. 
All right, so make our way back up here. This sure is some interesting design for dungeon areas. Okay, so yeah, right here. Just do a roll. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now we. We. Fifteen. I'm very close to a level. Level. Wait a minute. Ah. <laughs> This will be close, but yeah, let me go grab a level and some more gold coins real quick. Okay, okay. And we'll come right back and we will continue. I have, um, I'm curious, viewers, because I almost got a perfect um, amount for a level where I would have zero ergo. Um, has that ever happened to you? Whatever choice. Um, as you can tell, doing that's this, a great question. Yeah, let me grab, let me grab a damage stat. Yeah, so I have three ergo now. Uh, but it has not happened to me often, but it has happened to me before. I don't remember what game it was in. I think it might have been Dark Souls Two. Um, but without meaning to, specifically, I have leveled up with the perfect amount. To put me at zero souls. That is wild. Yeah, it's really weird when it it's happens. It's also very difficult to do, like... Yeah, it's pure happenstance, of course. <laughs> right. Let's see something here. I think the closest I've ever got has been, like, 15 or something. Yeah. Especially with late game. Mm-hmm. All right, so we have Aegis upgraded... We have three Legion Calibers, though, so Falcon Eyes has been all right. Yeah, this is the Acid one. Um, Deus Ex Machina, the Flamethrower. I have pulled all the upgrades off of every other Legion arm, by the way, viewers. So hmm. that's why we, like, none of these are upgraded. Right. Um, I'm thinking I could maybe do Puppet Stream. Well, I have one upgraded if you're not using it, so... Yeah, and I don't. I'm not using Aegis very much. It is extremely useful when I use it, though. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think let's try this for a little bit. Let's try the puppet string for a while. It has been a minute since it's been used. Yeah, right. I probably shouldn't back out entirely of the menu. There we go. Running the puppet string. Well, why not? I don't even know. Okay. I know nothing. Me either. Me too. A cookie? I must don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're back here, and I think um, we're going to be backtracking to deal with that area before going through the tunnel, right? Uh, No, okay. we need to still go through the tunnel uh, first. Okay. So... We're still making our way toward the steam ballista or whatever it is. Okay. The giant aluminum steel bullets they're shooting at you. Aluminium. Okay. Yep. And this away. Yep, yep, yep. There's the I have to dodge some boulders, so... Ah. It's like, there are sounds in here. here. comes another one. Okay. Ooh. Scary. Oh, and there's a... Of course there is. Perfect! <laughs> Love it. Dig, 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 dig. I have a feeling it's probably directly across from you. Yep. Advance course Works out. Okay. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, we gotta keep going up the hill. Aye, aye. Can I, like, stand behind this? Yeah. Aye, aye, Captain! Oh, oh. Okay, alright. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Get out of here. <laughs> perfect twice. Yeah, yeah. Double perfect all the way. Alright, so. Yeah, alright. It just falls there. Fascinating. Yeah. Bloop. Now the question is, is there anything down this little hallway? Oh, you know there probably is. Yeah. It's risky, oh, so oh, there might Ooh. Oh. The answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> Drops over here? Nope. There is an alcove, though, that has an item. Beautiful. It's being guarded by a carcass bear. A carcass bear? Are you kidding? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no. What do you think those bear traps were just for show? Get back here! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, oh my come God. on! <laughs> oh, God. At least you managed to somehow barely avoid the... The boulder, yeah. I was like, you gotta be kidding me, it's flying right there and the boulder is doing nothing. Uh, the boulder is conflicted. <laughs> the boulder is no longer conflicted. Yes. I knew that Ow. item was gonna do that. Oh, come oh. on. Oh, you gotta no. be joking. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Boulder is no longer conflicted. <laughs> yes. That's such a great scene. Uh-huh. Viewers, uh, if you haven't watched Avatar The Last Airbender for some bizarre reason... Like me. I cannot recommend it enough. Which, to be clear, I have watched it because Austin made me watch it. And I am extremely I, thankful I, for that. <laughs> It's a great show. I, I didn't force you. You said you were interested, but you were having a hard time, like, making time for it. So I helped you make time for it. That's correct. <laughs> but it's funnier to say you made me watch it. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's true. But we we don't need our viewers thinking I abuse our relationship. Relationship? How do you mean? All right. High fives and chewing gum? I don't know. Clearly, I don't know either. <laughs> Not chewing gum. Bubble gum? Eh, maybe. I'm not much of a gum chewer. I am, but I have not been able to lately. Um, due to dental equipment, I have to wear. Uh, oh my god. Oh! I thought it sent you off the edge. It looked like it. I, I was like, oh good, we'll have to start over. Oh, interesting. Ah! Alright. It hasn't been a while since I've used the puppet string extensively. So I'm getting used right. To it again. Alright, hold on. Well, I think this is a variant, right? Because, like, there's the. Oh my god. I'm so tired of that happening. <laughs> That's That one's rough. Yeah. There's, because I think there's the one where it, you pull it to you, right? Versus you going to it. Yes. Uh, okay, I'm guessing I gotta drop down on this side now. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Okay. I'm like, yeah, there there's got to be a boulder down there, yeah. <laughs> there's no. got to be my certain death by uh, oh my God, over here somewhere. One? Yeah, of course. Uh, Yep. Yep. Of course. Yeah, that's not too bad because you can get out okay. of the way. Yeah. <laughs> God, I do. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 right. 
Uh, but no, I can't. I can't sing uh, Avatar: Last Airbender's praises enough. Like there oh, are yeah. very few shows that I would give as much credence as I give that show, which is really interesting when you think about it. Wait, what? Say that again. Uh, I wouldn't give it as like. There's a lot of shows that I would not put as much credence into, like I do with Avatar. Like I. I would call it a masterpiece. I'm not. I, I don't give high praise to a lot of shows. I'm not quick to give that kind of like praise out. Ah, okay, yeah. But Last Airbender is truly a masterclass in how to tell a narrative and how to build a world and write characters and like it's just such a good series. Oh, I'm so happy right now. <sighs> Shortcut. No longer have to deal with boulders. Yep. I do agree. Um, it, it's... I don't know how to describe it otherwise, but yeah. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Yeah, there's your there's your bear, by the way. Oh, boy. <laughs> that guy. Oh, he looks so delightful. That guy looks mean. He looks like he's just having a good old day. It's fine. Uh-huh. Is that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's not a rune bear. Okay. You know that's what I'm thinking of. These things don't come close to the aggressiveness of a rune bear. I mean, I've started the encounter and haven't had him rocket past me at, like, setting the atmosphere on fire speed. <laughs> at, at Mach 35? Yeah, making sure that anytime I heal, he gets a throw on me and I go make a sandwich before he's done. Right. He hasn't uh, circumferenced the earth to come around to hit you again. <laughs> what? That's um, uh, Final Fantasy VIII, Zell's My Final Heaven, where he just runs <laughs> around the entire planet to punch somebody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so good. Man, there's, there's something to be said about older RPGs especially mm -hmm. where like your final moves are just these so egregiously over the top yeah. things <laughs> cause in that same game uh, what is it Lion uh, Leonhard or whatever like it, it's Lionheart yeah. it's like yeah it's, it's like the blade goes past the atmosphere no 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 you're thinking of Blasting Zone Oh, <laughs> yeah. When he like yeah. holds it up and it, it's that gigantic blade and he brings it down like yes. you just killed like the contents of a village in your path. Like what? The You've sliced right. the planet in. I knew it. You've sliced the planet in half with your special attack there. Right. Skies of Arcadia had prophecy. You're literally throwing a moon. Yeah. At your enemy. Sephiroth freaking supernova. Right. Oh, that's not good. That was... Mm. Oh, she's wearing her Sunday best for you. She sure is. <laughs> and setting you on fire in the process, but we don't worry about that part. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know, I gotta get out of that. Yeah. Stop Ooh. it! Stop! Quit being yeah. on top of it! Get out of here! <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. So, that hill up there, and then this. Hmm. Yeah, you get the long spear. Ooh, there's a giant demon baby in your future. That's not what I want to hear. Let's check this spear out. Ooh. That's... It's a... It's a sign. It's a broken sign with a spear tip on the end of it. <laughs> That's really funny. I. It's pretty good. I love stuff like this. Yeah. Single stab. Okay. Concentrate. Fashioned in a oh. hurry from a broken fence. Huh. Spear handle made out of a signpost support. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A broken fence and a signpost. Somebody just kind of stuffed those two things together. Yeah. Also, like, okay, so carcasses are people, right? 
the zombified people. As far as I know, agencies. yeah, they're basically undead right. zombie people, yeah. Right, so thinking about that, this is a living environment for somebody. What is or this was. drop down, by the way? Is this something I need to take? Oh, I don't know. Um, no, we read that tree. I remember this. This goes. Oh yeah, yeah. it's a shortcut back. Yeah. Back. Okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. So now I go up this hill. Anyway, you were saying. Well, I was just saying, like these are like just houses and all this scaffolding. Like I would hate to live in that kind of environment. Now it could just be like a mining outpost. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Like a mining but... community, mining outpost type thing. That, no. There you go, giant demon baby. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, ooh. Wow. That throw was actually a little disorienting because the camera followed. Ooh. I hate throw animations like that. Yeah, I'm also really glad there was a fence there. Otherwise, you were about to plummet to your death. Gotta be Ooh. joking. It's a good thing we've got the um Stop stomping on my corpse, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have the, we, the have the we have the ladder shortcut up. Yeah. Yeah. That is very helpful because you don't have to deal with the boulders again. No more boulders. Alright, you fool. No. Alright, so up here. Is he guarding anything in particular? Um Yes. Okay. Or rather I think he drops an item. Wait a minute. Did I not where's my ergo? But he should he hmm. killed oh he he it's probably further along. Because okay. you like backed up around over here. Yeah, because he's his Move set is entirely composed of charging attacks. Stop it! I mean, he is just a big robot gorilla. Yeah, pretty much. With a really creepy face. Yeah. Going here. Oh boy. Carcass body fluid bottle. Isn't that just what you wanted to find? Uh huh. Good grief. I've noticed a lot of these enemies like to do sets of three. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that was close. Nice dodge. Thank you. Aw, oh, yeah, baby. Fool. Oh, no. Now who's the fool? You're not getting up. Leaping ammo. There you go. That makes sense, considering he has freaking all the jumping moves. <laughs> this is... He's... Oh. He's, he's going to teach you to jump. Dude. That's right. <laughs> all right. Now that he's been dealt with. Ugh. All right. All right. Now it's time to take out the snipers and the battle stay. Are they in here? Oh, this... Uh, Further up, I think, okay. but yeah. I knew it. <laughs> hey, someone's gonna try to knock me the hell off. All right, so we'll go up. Oh, this—the way this is designed makes me want to try to go around. But... And then you'll get to fight the two giant robots. Yeah, those. Remember them? Those look delightful. You fought one before. Yeah. I bet you'll have an easier time with them now. Ha! There we go. Get out of here. Alright. Is there anything around this side? Oh. Yep. Ooh. The key is, when you're moving, to always put the stick in toward... That's toward the wall. Toward the wall, yeah. yeah. So you're, like, skirting the wall. 
Hmm. Hmm. Mm, okay. This place is so interesting. Yeah. Yes. I think that's the way forward. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna. You can probably just hop down on the left there. What? Down the ladder. Might be able to go out to the floor from there. You mean here? Yeah. Okay. And then, like, head down. I see. Because this is... Okay, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I, I have to orient myself. All right, I will head downward. Yeah, because I think there's some items down there. And theoretically, it'll give you access back to the ground floor. Yeah, that's what it looks like. You come up here. I do not like the layout of this room. Well, you don't want to blow things up? Oh my god! <laughs> of course. Oh! Oh my. I'm gonna go all the way up here to stop dinking into everything. Yep. Nice. Ah! Here. What you gonna do with that little blunt stick? Yeah. Try to eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Eh. I am painful. You got a splinter in my wrist. Anything is a spear with enough force. Alright, so uh, that's technically true. <laughs> <laughs> now. Yeah, okay. Yep. Okay. Alright. Now it's time to loot down here. Yeah. Um, defeating those puppets of the future will get you quartz, though, so yeah. definitely recommend taking them out. What's their name? Puppets of the future? Yep. Okay. Where? Where's the shiny? Okay. Everywhere. Be over here. Probably in that pile right there. Yep. Where's the thump thump? <sighs> I've got a job. Get Duh. back here! There you go. Motivity crank. Ah! Ah, there's so many things after me now. <laughs> you know what the um, the puppets climbing out of the water remind me of? What's that? Is um, the Sid's toys from Toy Story 1. Oh, sure. Oh, I'm gonna die. Ah. Oh, close. Specifically the spot where Woody's, like, scaring the soul out of Sid. Yeah. So play nice. <laughs> ah, yeah, I'd be terrified <laughs> too. Yeah, for for sure. But it's just like, I guess because the puppets have a toyish, uh, like, look to them. That's what it makes me think of. Yeah, I'm not liking this corruption. Yeah, it's not great. Can't drain it like you did last time. Nope. Yeah, that builds back up. Not great. I feel like the last one you fought was taller, but maybe not. I sort of feel that way too. No. Nah. Come over here. But you're definitely doing more damage to them this time than did last time, so you know. Yep. Take the win, I guess. Take the shame. And my bothered. Ow! Ow. Jeepers. Come over here. You're spinning. Or stomp the crate either Can way. You break it? Who knows? Yep. Nothing in it. Alright. Jeepers. Do not like. Oh. Oof. It's with this place and enemies that stomp the ground repeatedly. Yeah, I don't know. My stamina is coming back slowly. I'm assuming because of shock. Yeah, that's my guess too. Oh, you 
gotta be joking. Alright. Yeah, these things are pretty rough. I don't remember you having this much trouble with it, though. What did I have in here? Okay, let's put this back here. It's not really gonna help me. <laughs> this is terrible. Well, you can always leave, come back. Mm. Probably gonna have to come back either way. I don't think I'm gonna survive this. Any, um, is there any strategy for dealing with these that's specified? Uh, no, not here, but. Okay. I get a look. Wow. Too far. Hope it's in the future. Hit and run. There's two of these things, too. It's just the um. You could you could try using electricity. Okay. Actually, might help. Can't hurt. Yeah. Okay. But it's looking like a whole lot of just kind of chipping away at him, hit and run tactics, that kind of thing. Yeah. No. No crop. What you looking for? Something to remove. Corruption. Oh. And three three seven. Elite skill, ah. son. Yeah, that stomp is getting you hard for sure. Yeah, I am not a fan of the stomp. No. Spinny, 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 ta-da! Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Sword seems to be helping. Come on, Dan. You got this. You can get the best. The best around. Quartz. There's one. That's one. <laughs> you ready for for two? No. With no healing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Answers no. Am I gonna fight it though? Why yeah. not? There's another one. Good grief. Stop it. Get away. Mm. The balance, Craig. Because these enemies believe in being well balanced. Perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced in every way. Alright, so. Yeah. The backwards head. Oh. Alright. What'd you say? I said another backwards head. Ah, oh, yes. There's something over there. Gotcha.
Oh my god, there are so many of these right now. Yeah, oh. Ooh, that's a yellow one. What? Dark Moon Moonstone of the Covenant, okay. That's new. Yeah. Oh. That's just a whole moon? Oh, half moonstone. Cluster grenade. Okay. This place is pretty large. Yeah, it is. Ah! No! Fatal Catalyst. <clears throat> Alright. Knocking mm. down some trees there. Yep. Honestly, that's a pretty solid strategy. Yeah, dodge and weave. Yeah, because you're doing decent damage with each swing. And get my healing back. Yeah. Added bonus. Nice. Yeah, I like hitting the arm because it's... It's not as... He can't punish it as easily. Right. Get that stamina back. Ooh. Ooh. Huh. That was not great. Yeah, but you somehow avoided the damage? Yep. Pure dumb luck. <laughs> The soak. That sure dumb luck is doing some pristine work right now. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah, but you got him down to half health. Yeah. Liking it. I like it. You love to see it. Yeah, yeah. You love to see it. Close. down and that did oh. nothing great big old whiff oh boy yeah hmm. Ooh. stomping McGee over here uh-huh mr. mr. footsie McGillicuddy Even is the flashing health bar then? Uh, I, I, don't I know. can't take advantage of it. That's weird. Alright, well. Do, 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 do. Phenomena. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> What? 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 Stomping combo. This is a stomping combo. Mm -hmm. Your combo is worth five points. Combo breaker. Right. Oh, not good. Okay. You got this. You got this. What if I keep with me, grief. Well, yeah, but yeah, that's that's better. What an obnoxious enemy. They're like, let's just make a really obnoxious dude. Yeah. Oh, You're good. You're very close, though. That is just what I wanted. <laughs> just what the doctor ordered. What other one? Great.
Good. Good. Oh, yeah, it worked out in your yeah, favor. That worked out quite well. It wouldn't have if I got killed by them, of course. Yeah. Right. Yeah, boy, you got this. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to kill a puppet, I guess. Yep. Dealt with. Mm. Hopefully, they don't come back. We'll see. Yeah. Whew. All right. I have a drink of water here after that. Whoa. <laughs> the hyper concentration has made you thirsty. It does happen. <laughs> <sighs> okay. And since we're taking a water break, viewers, this is your reminder. Drink some water. Yep. Drink a healthy amount of water. That's right. If you're anything like me, that is far, far, far from the truth, but I'm trying to be better. Yeah. Good to improve. I had a, uh, a mix, um, elect oh, electrolyte mix earlier today. Hmm. It's pretty good. It's like a uh, like limeish citrus flavor. Yeah. What uh what brand of that would it be? Oh, uh, my goodness. Oh, I can uh, element -y, Okay. I believe. Yeah. I do it with my uh my cardio. Get some electrolytes going. It's, it's good. Yeah, smart. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I'm just kind of wandering around here. There's... I've been in here. That's where... Ow. Did you mm -hmm. get the chest? There's supposed to be a chest with a Vanini collection in it. No. And there's another butterfly around here. Let's see. Over here? This is like the frickin' swamp of butterflies, I swear. <laughs> yep. Um... You any idea where it is? No, unfortunately not. It's like in this area. Yeah. Okay. Should have a fancy Vanini collection in it. So this is that whole thing. Okay. I keep looking around. There is. There is where whatever is down that way. I did go over here and get something, but it was sitting on the floor. It wasn't a chest. Mm, yeah, fair enough. Hopefully it's not in one of these crates, because I don't know a good way to open it. There's also whatever this is. That's the stargazer. It is the stargazer. From. That's actually helping to orient me a little bit. It's yeah. Walking around battling in this area, just like, I don't know where anything is anymore. I've just been focused on... Trying not to die. Uh, I don't know where is it. Uh, all right. So there's like one way I haven't gone. I've been this way, right? Yeah, that's how you got up to the tower to get the ballista. Yeah, all right. So that isn't it. Yeah, that is that. All right. Apologies, viewers. I realize I am walking in circles. Uh, <laughs> just kind of mapping the area. The boulder <laughs> is confused about where the chest is. Indeed. It's this way. Ah. The chest. The boulder is no longer confused. Ow. Boulder's about to die. Yeah, you definitely need to God. pop off with the Stargazer before we continue on. Fancy Benini's collection. Ah, yeah, great. We can take that to Puccinella. Yeah. Pulcinella? I don't know. Yeah, I... It's Pulcinella. I don't know either. Come on. Let's make sure I don't actually die of corruption. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've already gotten the Owl Doctor's mask. Yeah. So... Next is to climb 
back up the tower and go across that bridge that we didn't go across before. Okay. Oh, my God. All right. Now comes the moment of truth. The big dudes respawn. All right, so that's the tower. So over here, I think, is the... Stargazer? Or is it down that way? I think it's... Actually, uh, it's over here, I think. Yeah, I think so. I, I can't imagine they respawn, especially with having a boss health bar. Yeah, I agree. A bit of it. And that corruption. Yeah. Barely avoided it. Found your. <laughs> we found your poison swamp area. Necessary. All right, so that's the Baron's swamp yeah. there. Swamp level, Miyazaki is so proud, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Good job, guys. All right, let's see. No matter what fate brings, sir, be welcome. Paulina, no. Chanella, hey. At the house of Vanini. Master Vanini's collection box. You are indeed full of surprises, sir. I know. Patrons of prestige can always count on seeing a bit more than the average customer. I am talking about you, sir. Shall we pay a visit to the House of Vanini's private reserve? Ooh. Fascinating. At the House of Vanini. What you got there? Ooh, a new weapon. Pistol rock drill. Fascinating. Yeah. Satisfaction grindstone. Fascinating. Okay. So I'm assuming satisfaction might be shock then, and destruction would probably be critical rate? Decay or. Uh, oh, that's critical rate? I stagger? See it. Oh, stagger. Yeah. I can't read. Reading's hard. It is hard. Uh huh. And yet, somehow, I volunteer to be the reader for everything, just about. Yeah. HP, stamina, and legion. That's favor and protection, is what that is. That's good. Yeah. Advance plus four. I don't know which of these are new. Um, I guess we could buy, like, all this armor and see, sort it out. Um, yeah, pistol rock drill, the blue guardianship amulet, transformation amulet, the... Arch Fiber Reinforced Liner, Arch Multi-Layer Liner, and the Arch Space Armored Liner are all new. Okay. Let's just buy these. Just to have them. I got the money. Yeah, I mean, this, there's no reason not to have them. They're good. Yep. Uh, we'll just buy that. I'll buy the other one later. Just to have all the equipment here, you know. I'll buy the cranks. I mean, you probably got the... Huh? You probably have an Ergo you can pop to get yourself up there. Yeah. I'm just going to use all this. Alright, let's see what else. Oh, so Buy everything. Ah. Ah. Uh. Yeah. I guess I could buy all the cranks. I just I have yet to use one. <laughs> right. Well. Okay. So why? Those are both advanced cranks, right? Yeah. Why is one cheaper than the other one? Because it was added at a different time. That was a that huh. was a different collection box. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the cranks haven't really been helping you any, so I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. All right. This is distracting me a lot. <laughs> Wear a hat. Eh. Oh. But we were having such a hoot. Listen, you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we do have to come back here after getting another item, so it might be worth our time mm -hmm. to just head back to where we were at Baron Swamp. Okay. Um, yeah, give me one. Get up to the next. Get up to the next area, and then head back to Hotel Crowd after. Real that. curious what this is. Like a heavy spear. Yeah. Dude, that was cool. 
friggin' jackhammer. That is nuts. <laughs> that attack lasts like 25 minutes. What the? Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. All right. There's some really cool weapons in this game. Yeah, there is. All right, so now we got a bunch of new stuff here. Let's see. That is much heavier. <laughs> yeah, it that is. That slash damage reduction is pretty high. That's There's no reason to wear this one compared to... Mm. I don't know. Okay. It goes up to 15 slash, but we lose our pierce damage reduction. And it's pretty... So the multi-layer... Yeah. ...would be a direct upgrade outside of weight. Yeah. So... Yeah. Yeah, we'll just do that. It's it's coded weird. Like, the red ones being the down is messing with my head. I yeah. I understand why they do it, but it, it's messing with me. I don't like the way that that, that is color-coded. It's fine. Uh, all right. So. Uh, what do I have? Nine, five, seven, eight. Okay. I don't have enough to level up, so we'll just proceed, I suppose. Yeah, we just um, got a couple things to do before we do the housekeeping here, okay. so might as well like knock it out before we do before. Okay. Plus, looks like we're getting close to time, so this would be a good wrap-up point. All right. So I assume we go back out here. Let's see. Yep. Oh no, the puppets of the future are back. Just no, kidding. yeah. Uh, and then where are we going here? Let's see. To the tower. There should be a door. Yeah. Like directly across. Yeah. Question, of course, is how, mu how many idiots are going to be following me? I'm None. Right, good. I mean, won't you follow me anyway? Fine, 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 fine. Yeah. Yeah, okay, there's one. Ah! Alright, so up here... <laughs> we see everything. Yeah. Oh, except that. Yep. Alright. Uh, right now I'm gonna go across. So head up the ladder. I don't, I don't think you can make the jump. I think you actually have to go the long way around. Up of the ladder. Unless you can get Aragorn to toss you, they'll have to toss me. <laughs> don't tell the elf. Uh huh. Out of here. Did you break his weapon with one guard? Yeah. Jeez. I there's got to be something that's strengthening that because that I I was not able to do that before. It's got to like apply weapon attack power because it's gradually mm. been going up with my levels or something like that. Maybe it goes by level. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Interesting. Mm. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, well, what's that all about? That came from the direction of Krat Central Station. Oh, this could be bad, pal. Really, oh. really bad. Krat Central Station. That sounds bad. Yeah, we've been through Central Station. Yeah. Wonder what happened. I don't know, but I bet we'll find uh, Simon there at the heart of it. Probably. I could see or one of his cronies. Yeah, just some nonsense going on. Oh, hey. Huh. Oh. There must be something.
some way to open this. There? Alidora would know. Oh, uh, no, that's like a husky or something. Mm. Uh, hey, are you a treasure hunter too? Strange to me, someone in my line of work. Some kind of dog. Yeah. I know how this looks, but I'm not a thief or anything. <laughs> I am on a serious expedition. All right. You wouldn't happen to know a, a treasure hunter named Alidoro, would you? I'm a big fan. Hmm. I hmm. plan my expeditions to follow Alidoro's traces, but ugh, this lock has me at a dead end. And I so wanted to explore the hermit's cave. Oh, all I can do is keep plugging away. If you come back by, say hello. Maybe I'll get this place open. Hmm. Okay. Life is yeah. short, and life in Krat is shorter. I reckon I should cherish what time I've got. All I can do is keep plugging away. Uh, if you talk. Ah, okay. We got things we can ask him. You yep. never heard of Alidoro? He's a treasure hunter and one of the best. Oh, we know him. And unlike a lot of the riffraff in Krat, yeah. he's not a thief. He's a bit of he's a, a pretentious guy. He excavates mm -hmm. antiquities methodically. And professionalism is important when you're talking about Ergo. Just mention Ergo and everyone cares about the history behind the ruins. That's why Alidoro has the reputation he does. The quality of his information and the condition of the antiquities are on another level. I know there are rumors about Alidoro lately, but I know jealousy when I hear it. Mm hmm. Rumors. The rumors? <laughs> well, for starters, they're nonsense. <laughs> Alidoro is the last person you'd suspect of crimes like fraud and theft and assault. It's crazy. I've even seen a wanted poster of him. Those alchemists must be behind it. Those guys act like they own the ruins and they don't want treasure hunters to earn an honest living. I mean, come on. We're talking about the Alidoro who saved all those lives in the workshop tower rubble. So, no, I don't believe a word of it. Ugh, would you get a load of this? I grabbed it as a souvenir, but it's just malicious propaganda. You take it. Mm hmm. Huh. Uh. A con man who calls himself a treasure hunter wears a hound mask, charged with fraud, impersonation, theft, assault, and other serious crimes. He's very good at tricking people, so watch out. Watch out. Life is short. All I can do is keep. Talk. Discovered treasure. My treasure. Well, this is what I've got so far. It's a cryptic vessel. A sort of cipher device, but I don't know how it works. I don't want to throw it away. I think it's a clue to some stolen goods. I found it between the corpses of two thieves who died fighting over it. You know what they say, no honor among thieves. But I can't make heads or tails of it. If you want it, it's yours. All right. Oh. Life is Patience. all I can do. Is nope. All right, and we can't get in there. And we have some kind of a cryptic vessel now, I guess. Yep. We gotta go a little further. Okay. Oh wait, no. That's what we needed. The old cryptic first vessel is what we needed. Sorry, we can head back now. Okay. There's a stargazer right there. Perfect. Yeah. Item just passed it. Pick this up. Notebook. Sentries notebook. X X <laughs> slash X X. <laughs> Why in the world is that thing even here at Krat? I thought they were joking when the city dispatched me to catch the monster. I figured it was probably a broken puppet or a bear with a petrification disease. That green thing is huge. <laughs> what on earth did it eat in the swamp to grow so big? X, X, slash X, X. I don't think it's the waste problem. I've observed it. It obsessively protects its nest and likes to bring its toys to there. The puppet bodies aren't used just as toys. This thing sucks ergo from scrap puppets before playing with what's left. It feeds on ergo and that's why it grows so big. This whole area is a feast for it. I need to report this. 
<laughs> XX slash XX. <laughs> Blasted bastard. Screw you all. I think that green guy was made by the alchemist for sure. Or he's their mistake. How else can they ignore our backup requests like this? They're always like this. If something is unfavorable, they just ignore it. Why did they send us? Are we prey, not hunters? That guy is watching us more and more. He definitely knows we're here. He's looking at us like we're toys. Guard post captured soon. Lost control of Ballista. Impossible to take back. I ask for forgiveness for all the sins of my life. The angel will guide us. To Valhalla! To Valhalla. Is that an angel? Are you sure? Hmm. Eh, <laughs> yeah, close enough. Good enough. Alright, so yeah, we'll go ahead and head back. Got some housekeeping yes. to do here. Yeah, so now, now that we have the cryptic vessel, specifically, is what we needed. Mm -hmm. We can talk to Vanini, and he'll decipher the, the vessel. Great! Which will give us, um... Some stuff we can grab. I always welcome friends. May I be of service? Decipher the cryptic vessel. There you are. Now just leave this to me. Done and done. You will find Venini always seeks to rise to the challenge at hand. Sir, are you aware you have a piece of paper coming out of your wrist? <laughs> Orders. An old shack in the tomb slums in Malam District. Look for the bleak tree and laundry line and enter the shade next to them. Hmm. Oh, I know where that is, I think. Hmm. Appendix. An agreement is attached for mutual trust. I kept hiding the stolen goods in the barren swamp and realized something. Ah, I'm never going to return if I keep going to the swamp. All I've known is the life of a thief, but I don't want to die now. So we're returning to our sweet home. Even if the Black Rabbit Brotherhood is making trouble, we we were technically before them in the Malum District. In the slums, you follow the slum rules. First, bring the stolen goods to our old base. We may be dumb, but we're loyal, unlike the rich. Here's to a lifelong friendship. Okay. So now we know there's a treasure somewhere. Yeah. We're gonna... Get that next time, I assume. We're probably going to have yeah, to I negotiate think... a few things there. <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be best. Uh, the only thing we'll have to do here is to talk to Antonia. Okay. I'll do it. Our, our lady that we cured with the petrification disease. Let's talk to her. Grab some of these. Talk to Antonia. Yeah. Hello. People have no idea so many thanks for keeping me company. Nothing new here. Okay. I see you lies. People then I guess we're good. I see you lies. People on the outside. Yeah. I did talk to her an extra time after curing her already. Oh, I see. And I think we did that last episode, so that um, could be what that's referring to. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like it's probably... Alright. That's taken care of. Uh -huh. Well, in that case, thank you so much for being with us, everybody. Uh, if you really enjoyed what you watched, which we hope that you did, like, subscribe, all that algorithm stuff, share with a friend. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. You know, we we uh, talked about Ergo and the petrification disease and how the alchemists are kind of all involved. And if you haven't played this game, feel free to posit things with us. Come up with ideas. Mm -hmm. Share your own theories. Um, but if you don't want to talk about the game, but you still want to, like, contribute, you can always just be like, hey, or <laughs> I really like this fruit. I don't know. Pick something. It's fine. It doesn't have to be related to the game. <laughs> Doesn't have to be related to anything. <laughs> just you know, pick, exactly. pick a topic. Exactly. <laughs> uh, we just we just enjoy engaging with you guys. So, you know, we we encourage you to do so. Yes, um, indeed. We love it. Uh, we love responding to your comments, seeing that you're uh, enjoying what you're watching, and every, all of that all that good stuff. So, yeah, hundred percent agree. Right. And, of course, if you are enjoying what you've watched, please check out our other series as well. We've got several completed ones that I'm sure will 
uh, tickle your fancy as we uh, continue on creating this new content for you. So, um, but more than anything else, we're just so glad that you allowed us to be part of your day. We hope it's awesome afternoon or night or whenever you're watching this. They've had a chance to decompress and laugh at our shenanigans and enjoy the story along the way as well. And we will catch you all in the next video. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye now. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Thanks for watching.